나는 알투마가 아니에요. What does this sentence mean? If you would notice, the word in red letter is atomaga. Because today, on one Korean word a day, we're going to study about the word atoma. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time. On here, at the hangul. Word number 147. Atuma. Atuma. This is pronounced as a three syllable word. The first syllable is a. The second syllable is zoom. The third syllable is ma. Pronounce it with me. Atuma. Atuma. The word atuma is the Korean noun for an old woman, which is of the same age as your mother. Again, Ajuma is an old woman. How do we spell Ajuma in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the syllable A in Hangul, we need to draw first a no sound yung or a placeholder yung followed by an A character. For the second syllable Jum, we need to draw first a G character followed by an U character followed by a Mium character. For the last syllable, ma, we need to draw first a meum character followed by an a character. And then we just have to combine this to form the hangul of the word, ajuma. The usual romanized spelling that you would see for the word ajuma is the first one presented here, which is A-H-J-U-M-M-A. That's also okay to use as long as you would remember the hangul for ajuma. Now that we have an idea about the meaning of the word ajuma, Let's try to look into this example sentence. It says, I'm not an old woman yet. The Korean translation of this sentence is, Nanun atumaga anieyo. Again, Nanun atumaga anieyo. The first part of the sentence is Nanun. Na means I, and Nun is a subject particle. The second part of the sentence is Ajuma, and this is our word for today which we already know as an old woman. And the last part of the sentence is anieyo. This is already discussed in this channel, and we know that it means it's not. So if we combine the meaning of each of these parts, it will result to a sentence that means, I, an old woman, it's not. Or simply, I am not yet an old woman. Going back to the example sentence at the start of the video, we already know by now that the meaning of the sentence Nanun ajumaga anieyo is simply I am not an old woman yet. And with that, you just learned ajuma. Now is the time for our previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 137 to 146. Don't forget our word for today, word number 147, Atuma. This is the Korean noun for an old woman that is about of the same age as our parents. Word number 146 is Ajusi. This is the Korean noun for an old man, which is also of the same age as our father. Word number 146 is Imo. This is the Korean noun for aunt. Word number 144 is Samchon, and this is the Korean noun for uncle. Word number 143 is Jame, and this is the Korean noun for sisters. Word number 142 is Yongje, and this is the Korean noun for brothers. Word number 141 is Dongsing, and this is a Korean noun for younger sibling. Word number 140 is Makne, and this is the Korean noun for youngest sibling, or this could also mean the youngest in the family. Word or phrase number 139 is Orago, and this is an informal way of asking, What did you say? Word number 138 is Yepuda, 
This is an adjective which means pretty. And the last for our review is word number 137, pekopa. This is an adjective which means hungry. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time on here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.